Milling Machine Processes The milling machine is one of the most versatile and widely used machine tools for both tool room and production purposes. What is meant by, as it, by milling as it applies to machining? Milling is a process of removing material with a rotating mold multiple tooth cutting tool called a milling cutter. It, in the usual operation, the workpiece is fed against the rotating cutter. What kind of jobs can be done on a milling machine? The milling machine is used to machine flat and angular surfaces, drill and bore holes, slot keyways, cut gear teeth, mill screw threads, cut irregular shapes, cut helical fruits and piece drills, and milling cutters and do specialty work for each for which it can be adapted. How many times of milling machines are used and how are they classified? There are three types of milling machines. First is knee and column milling machines, manufacturing milling machines, and special milling machines. What type of milling machine is most often found in small general machine shops? The knee and column type. It is a general purpose machine with a full range of speeds and feeds which are controlled either manually or automatically. What are the principal parts of the plane knee and column milling machine? The column, the knee, the saddle, the table, the spindle, and the overarm. Each principal part or assembly consists of several other parts and each part has its own function and the overall operation of the machine. What is the function of the column? The column including the base, it is the main casting which supports all the other parts of the machine. The front of the column, the column face, is machined to provide an accurate guide for the vertical driver of the knee. What is the function of the knee? The knee supports the saddle. The feed change gearing is enclosed within the knee. The knee can be raised or lowered on the column face. It is supported and it can be adjusted by the elevating screw. What is the function of the saddle? The saddle supports the table. It is supported and guided by the accurately machined surfaces of the knee. What is the purpose of the table? The table holds the workpiece. It, re it rests on the dovetail guys of the saddle. These slots are machined along the length of the top surface of the table. What is the purpose of the spindle? The spindle holds and drives the various cutting tools. It is a shaft mounted on bearings supported by the column. The spindle is driven by an electric motor through a train of gears all mounted within the column. What is the overarm? The overarm is mounted on the top of the column and is guided in perfect alignment by the machine dovetailed surfaces. It supports the arbor and, and is adjustable and it can be tightened in any position. What is the difference between the plain milling machine and the universal knee and column milling machine? The universal milling machine looks much like the plain milling machine, but its table is not supported by the saddle. The universal ma machine has a stable housing that swivels on the top of the saddle. This feature makes it possible to mill angular and helical slots. What is a vertical knee and column milling machine? The vertical milling machine is so named because the spindle is located vertically and at a right angle to the surface of the table. The spindle has a move, uh, vertical movement and the table can be moved vertically, longitud longitudinally, and transversely. What is the manufacturing milling machine? The manufacturing milling machine is mainly used for quantity production of machine parts. These machines can be used for a variety of milling operations. What other types of milling machines are used in the manufacture of machine parts? There are small manufacturing milling machines which look like plain knee and column machines. They are used in the quantity production of small or medium parts. What is the planar milling machine? A planar milling machine is designed for large jobs requiring 
heavy cuts and powerful feeds such as those found in heavy industry. What is a precision horizontal boring drilling and milling machine? A precision horizontal boring drilling and milling machine is a large machine into which is built high precision and great strength. It is constructed to ensure accuracy as well as rigidity for heavy milling operations. What is a precision jig boring machine? A precision jig borer is a machine specific, specifically designed to simplify boring holes to accurate size and to simplify the problems are precisely locating the holes. Why is this accuracy necessary? The precision jig borer is primarily a tool maker's machine. The extreme accuracy required in machine building necessitates a very high degree of accuracy in the location of holes, counters, and surfaces of the jigs, fixtures, and dies used in making parts. How is this high degree of accuracy made possible? The, the, accurate, the accurate movement of a machine table is made possible by the rotation of a thread within a knot. The lead screws of a jig borer table must meet the most exacting standards of accuracy. What is a tool and die milling machine? A tool and die milling machine is designed for the milling of curved or irregular surfaces and surfaces located between projections, shoulders, and bosses. What is milling machine attachment? Every machine used in machine shop work has one or more attachments. An attachment is designed to give the machine greater vers vers versatility or work capability. What is a vertical milling attachment? The vertical milling attachment can be mounted on the face of the column of a knee and column milling machine. What are some of the advantages of the vertical milling attachment? The vertical milling attachment is used for vertical milling operations with large end mills, face mills, and single and double angle cutters. What is the universal milling attachment? A universal milling attachment makes a milling machine truly universal because its spindle may be set at any angle in both planes. What is a compound vertical milling attachment? A compound vertical milling attachment has a spindle that can be set in two planes with a spindle set at an angle to the table. As in milling machine bevel in just two long pieces, the full length of the table can be traveled thus saving setup time. What is a high speed universal milling attachment? When using a small diameter milling cutter of the end mill type for milling slots, keyways or splines or for mold or die making, a high-speed universal milling attachment is used. What is a rotary attachment? A rotary attachment, sometimes referred to as a circular milling attachment, is bolted to the top of the table of a plane or universal milling machine. What is latting attachment? When mounted on the column face of a plane or universal milling machine, the slatting attachment converts the rotary motion of the spindle into the up and down motion of the tool side. This is particularly valuable in a shop where key ways must be machined and no slatting machine is available. What is a rock milling attachment? A rock milling attachment is used to cut teeth, usually gear teeth, along a straight line. It can also be used in connection with the universal spiral index, centers for cutting worms on universal milling machines. What are the uses of a universal spiral mill milling attachment? When the, when the universal spiral milling attachment is applied to a universal melter, it makes possible the milling of helices with a helix angle greater than 45 degrees. This attachment is used for milling gears, worms, screw, threads, twist drills, and spiral milling cutters. A universal spiral milling attachment can be mounted or on a plane or universal knee and column machine. What types of visors are used for milling machine work? The small vise is used for light milling operations. The bed slides are made of cast iron and the jaws are made of hardened and ground tool steel. 
the lever action permits quick clamping of the work which enables bendier production. The vise is fastened to the table with T-bolts with pass-through slotted holes of the ends of the vise. The plain vise is lower than other types of milling vises. The flange vise which holds work out work up to 7 inches wide is the type used for plain milling operations. Its low height and broad base give it the rigidity needed for heavy cuts. The swivel vise is made in two basic parts. The body is identical to the flange vise but it swivels on the base. How are vise bases aligned parallel with the edge of the milling machine table? Milling machine vices can be quickly aligned with the table by using square box, square blocks fastened on the bottom face of the vice base plate. How are swivel vices fixtures and workpiece aligned accurately? All work and work holding attachments must be aligned accurately before the work can be machined square and parallel. Swivel type vices are easily and quickly aligned by using a dial indicator to test the accuracy of the solid job. What is a milling fixture? A milling fixture is a work holding device that is clamped to the table for machining duplicate parts on a production basis. What is a spring shock? A spring shock is an adapter that can be mounted in the spindle for holding and driving spring collets. What are milling arbors and adapters? Milling arbors and adapters are precision-made attachments designed to hold and drive many types of milling cutters. Describe the standard milling arbors. Standard milling arbors are made in three styles, A, B, and C. The style A arbor, often called a short arbor, has a pilot at the outer end which is supported by a bronze split bearing and the arbor support. This type of arbor is used, uh, is used in smaller milling machines. The style B arbor, often called a long arbor, is supported by one or more arbor supports having large diameter bronze bearings into which a bearing collar mounted on the arbor fits. To do a good job of grinding, one must be able not to only operate the machine but also to understand abrasives and grinding wheels. What is abrasive? An abrasive is any material that can wear away the substance of softer than itself. What are the natural abrasives? Emery and corundum are the two natural abrasives commonly used in industry to sharpen tool edge. They occur the mineral deposit in earth crust. These abrasives forms into wheels are superior to the old grindstones. How were abrasives per first manufactured? In, in 1891, Dr. Edward G. Acheson set the task of trying to produce artificial diamonds by combining two powdered coke and corundum clay at extremely high temperatures. He discovered that after the mass called it contains brightly colored crystal that, you'd cut, that could cut glass and a uh, slight cutting effect on diamonds. Dr. Achinson called the new substance corundum because it was formed by carbon and corundum. How do silicon carbide and aluminum oxide di differ? differ? Uh, although these two excellent abrasives are similar in some respect, respects, their significant processes differ widely. Silicon carbide is extremely hard. It is rated at 9.87 on the 10 point mob scales, which is based on the hardness of diamond. It is special, easily fractured by impact and its excellence depends upon the purity of ingredients used in making it. Aluminum oxide is less hard, 9.6 on the mop scales, but it is, but, it is, but it is the tauter than silicon carbide. What is silicon carbide best suited for? Silicon carbide is best suited for grinding materials that have loose tensile strengths but are very hard, such as ceramics, poetry, and tungsten, tungsten carbide. What is aluminum oxide be best suited for? Because of its stoutness, aluminum oxide is resistant to shock and therefore suited for grinding material of high tensile strength 
such as tool steel and high speed steel which type of abrasive superior natural law manufactured man made abrasive have a, a distinct advantage over natural abrasives because purity and grain size can be re readily controlled how are artificial abrasives manufactured electrical vernays are used to produce both types of abrasives silicon carbide is made in an open through like furnace by fusing a mi mixture of coke, sawdust, sand, and salt. What is the hardness abrasives? Diamonds are the hardness known materials product by nature. Chemists and laboratory technicians tried to for 125 years to develop the combination elements that would produce a man man-made diamond in 1955. The General Electric Company announced success in producing artificial diamonds suitable for industrial use. How is the hardness, how is the hardness of grinding when determined? Grinding wheels are formed by using a suitable materials to cement or band the abrasive grains together in desired shape. How many kinds of bands are used to band grinding wheels? There are many different kinds of bands. Those most, those most commonly used are verified. Silicate, shellac, rubber, and resinoid. The verified silic silicate are used more frequently than the others. How is the correct wheel sele selected? Several factors affect the selection of grinding wheel. The kind of material to be ground, amount of stock and removed, and the accuracy of size. The kind of finish required, the e a contact between the wheel and the work, and the kind of grinding machine to be used. It is the theory of grinding. Grinding is the act of dressing, shaping, or finishing surfaces with a rotating abrasive wheel. In modern machines should be operate, grinding cost vary as much as 100% the same work with the same kind of machine in the same factory. This is some operators can handle the machine more skillfully than others. How is grinding wheel speed determined? In the most modern grinding machines, the speed of wheel is fixed and unchangeable. In others, spindle speed can be altered by changing to different size pulleys. What characteristic will be observed if the grinding machine is not operating properly? Being a good observer, the operator can tell many things about the work and the machine. Poor or defective bearings in the work in the wheel head will become evident while dressing the wheel. The diamond wheel dresser like nice show a steady spark as it moves across the face and wheel. This result of a poor surface finish. It's a color necessary grinding wheel. A great true clean wheel uh, of Proper band abrasive size is a very efficient cutting tool, but it can also cause a work to heat rapidly. In the case of little tool, there are only cut one cutting point act action the work. But even so, it is well known as a cutting tool work and cheap quite hot. What is the purpose purpose of rod grinding a job? Rotting the job removes internal strains set up by the heat treatment and removes the excess of stock as rapidly as possible in preparation of our finishing. Routing is accomplished by using a slow work speed and fast traverse. Do your grinding wheels require special care? The following suggestion originally made by well-known grinding wheel and machine manufacturers. If generally adapted, this procedure should be much eliminated grounding as accidents. Handle all wheels with greatest care and storing or delivery. Wheels are frequently cracked by road usage long before they are ever placed on a grinding machine. Wheels should, wheels should be stored in a dry place. Before a wheel is placed on a spindle, it should be sounded for cracks. When tapped by a non-metallic object, a solid wheel gives a dull ringing sound. Make sure that the grounding wheel is equipped with bloating paper gasket on each side. Never crowd a wheel on the spindle 
the hole in the wheel should be 0.003 to 0.005 inches oversized to permit it to slide easily on the spindle and squarely against the flange. Never mount a wheel without flanges, which should be properly relieved and of suitable proportions. Don't screw the wheel nut too tight. The nut should be set up only tight enough so that the flanges hold the wheel firmly. Keep the wheel cleaned and through the frequent greasing, but don't remove any stock that in stock that is necessary put the wheel in proper condition. If a wheel vibrates excessively after it has been properly trued, there is there is something wrong. Stop the machine and call an instructor. Large wheels, that is wheel over 12 inches, require, require specially balancing. Don't attempt to balance them yourself and do not use the wheel until it balances. What is a coated abrasive? A coated abrasive is made up of three parts. A flexible backing material, and adhesive or bond abrasive grains. The abrasive grains are bonded on the backing sheet by means of the adhesive. How do abrasive materials vary? The flint, emerge, gar garnet, aluminum oxide, and silicon carbide. Abrasive have different characteristics and sure, are sure use for a variety of jobs. How are coated abrasives used in machine shop work? Abrasive cloth has been used for many years in machine shop. Work to improve the appearance of the job by polishing the surface. To remove sharp edges and bores or to obtain specif specified size by removing a small amount of, me of metal. What is the most common form of abrasive cloth used in machine shop work? Emery cloth is most often used of for metal finishing. Although still called emery cloth by shop mean the abrasive now used are artificially produced aluminum oxide and silicon carbide. How are these abrasive clothes graded? Abrasive clothes come in a wide variety of grades from the fine to extra coarse. By what other methods are coated abrasive used in machine shop work? The use of coated abrasive in machine shop work has increased tremendous tremendously due to developments in the use of abrasive belts. Are coated abrasive discs used in machine shop work? Coated abrasive discs are used extensively in metal working and rank a very close second to abrasive belts. Are all machines using the abrasive belts designed on the same mechanical principles? Many machines have been designed to utilize abrasive belts. There are five basic methods of supporting and applying the belts. On a contact wheel, as a free belt, over a plantain, on a drum, and rolls. Is a coolant des desirable when working with the coated abrasives? Yes, coolants will help to increase the rate of product production, lengthen the life of the abrasive, and improve the quality of the finish. What fluids are used in coolant for coated abrasives? Following types of coolants are used for coating abrasives. Water solution that contains rust inhibitors, weighting agents, and chemical adjectives. Soluble oils, lard oil, mineral oils, mineral large oil, and wax. What functions do this water, oil, and wax solution perform? Each is used for either a special function or for a particular met material. There are principal functions are cool the job, wash away chips, reduce friction, improve the finish, protect the job from rust and corrosions, improve the life of the coated abrasive, prevent the surface of the coated abrasive from loading and glazing. What is abrasive machining? machining? 
Abrasive machining is a removal of metal with an abrasive wheel to form a job to shape a shape and size within the required size, tolerance, and surface finish requirements. Can abrasive machining do the work usually performed on the base, basic machine tools such as latch, miller, planner, and shaper? Large amount of metal have been removed and grinding wheels on jobs, usually machine and latches and milling, planning and shaping machines. It is necessary to use special grinding wheels with removing large amount of metal. No, large amount of metal can be removed by standard grinding wheels. The shape of the wheel, the type of abrasive, the grid size, the grade structure and the bond must be considered and selected on the basis of the job. It shapes the metal being machined, the machining operation required, and the ma machine being used. What is surface grinding? Surface grinding is a process of producing and finishing flat surface by means of a grinding machine em employing a revolving abrasive wheel. How many types of surface grinding machines are used in the mechanic machining industry? Surface grinding machines are divided into two major groups according to the shape of the table and how it, it moves. There are two planner types in which the table is rectangular and traverses under the wheel and the rotary types in which the table is circular and rotates under the wheel. What wheels are used on the surface grinder? Grinding wheels uh, of various shape are used on the horizontal surface grinder. Among the more common and are disc gauge and thin rubber sl slotting wheels. How should a grinding wheel be dressed? In the case of surface grinding where the work of ground dry, the wheel must be kept sharp and true if the grinding operation is to be done efficiently. The area of contract between the wheel and work is much greater than it is in. Cylindrical grinding, which means that a great many more cutting edge abrasive elements in the wheel are cutting on the work at the same time. The heat generated by the added cutting edge may be kept at the minimum by keeping the wheel clean and sharp. How should the work be held for grinding? Most surface grinders use a magnetic shock to hold the work in place of the machine, but the work may be held by clamping indirectly to the table or by, by placing the work and the vice fastening to the ta table. Work may be held on the ma magnetic shock in conjunction with a V-block, angle plate, or sign bars, or with the special fi fixture. What are witness mark and how are they used? Occasionally, the surface of the job must be ground to clean up. This means that the surface to be ground so that a very small portion of the originally surface can still be seen after the job is done. This is known as the living witness mark on the work. Can angle plates be used on a grinding machine? 90 degree angle plates are used on the surface grinder for supporting the work, while two ad adjacent face of the work are ground at 90 degree to each other. What procedure is used to grind work square? To grind a piece of work square after two sides have been ground parallel, place the side to be, to, to be ground down to the magnetic shock. Place a thin parallel or roll alongside the work. Then place the 90 degree angle plate top edge down to the rule, bringing the outside face of the plate against the finished side of the work. Can angular surface be ground on the surface grinder? Angular surface can be readily ground on the surface grinder by dressing the wheel to the procedure that requires angle by using a sign bar and or the adjustable angle plate and setting the work up to the required angle or by using an adjustment enable magnetic shock. 
How can gro grooves and slots be ground? Certain classes of works on the surface grinder called the considerable skill and the patience on the part of the operator. Some of the more common ones are groove or slot grinding or reduced grinding, especially where they have to be maintained with accurate limits relative to other surface. How does the horizontal rotary grinder operate? The horizontal rotary grinder, commonly known as a ring grinder, con consists of a horizontal wheel spindle having a reciprocating motion similar to that of the shaper ram and the revolving magnetic shock table supporting by columns at the front of the machine. It is vertical spindle rotary grinder difficult to operate. The vertical spindle rotary grinder consists of a cylindrical wheel mounted on the vertical spindle and supported on the vertical column. This is a vertical column provides a, a means of rising or lowering the wheel. Hi, good uh, morning everyone and this is Rogen Esteban. I'll be reporting the chapter 16 which is the gear and gearing. So first, we have uh, let's define gears. Gears are used in repairs and combinations to transit motions, change directions or motions, increase or decrease speed and transmit power as a machine to another parts. The automotive uh, transformations differential are common examples of the use of gears to transmit directions of motions, speed, power from engines to wheel. The gears is used into the manu manufacturers of machines. Tools are made in great quantities of gear cuttings. These are the machines that design for each types of gears. So next, we have the types of gears. First is the spark gears and racers and sizes. First, we have the spark gear means the gear ratio of the pair of uh, machine gears are expressed between the number of the feet and each gear contains. It usually fractions of ratio reduced to its lowest terms for examples. The diameter of the ratio of the pitch diameter of a pair of machine gears are same as the gear ratio. The gear or the size of the ratio is used to the number of revolutions per minute or the RPM. Okay, then we have the spore uh, gear pinions. Two gears is a measure are called the pairs of gears. The larger is the referred to as the gear, while the smaller one is the pinions. Either would be a driver and other are the driven. Okay, next, we have the uh, other, uh, other uh, types of gear, which is the helical gear. Helical gears have the teeth that are oriented on the angle to unlike spore gears which are parallel. This causes more than uh, to be uh, conducted during the person of the helical gears can be carried out. So and now let's have the helical gears used. Helical gears are used to increasingly often as power transmitting gear since not only that can be uh, carried larger loads because of the lower dynamics load but it also there are noise and vibration levels operations are lowered compared to those four gears next we have the hiring bone gears the hiring bone gears are very similar to the double helical gears because they do not have the gap separating the two helical faces. Hairy bone gears are typically smaller than the comparable of the double helicals and ideally suited to the high shocks and vibrations. Hairy bone gearing is, done, is not used very often due to her manufacturing difficulties and high cost. So next we have the hairy bone gears used. The double helical gears is also referred to the herringbone gears. It uses transmitting of power between the parallel shock. It was uh, developed, overcome these advantages of high end and through the uh, single helical gears. Next, we have the bevel gear. Bevel gears are the most commonly used to transmit power between the shaft that intersect at 90 degree angle. Next, we have the use for the bevel gears. Bevel gears are used in differential drives, which can be transformed the power to the two axle, spin, uh, spinning the uh, different speeds, such as those are uh, uh, cornering automotive. And bevel gears are used to the manufacturing of machines that are hand drills. Next, we have the worm gear. Worm gear are the transmit power through right angle and no one intersecting shaft. Worm gears are produced. Uh, 
truss loads and that are the high shocks due to this low efficiency they are often used in lower horsepower applications next we have the use of uh, worm gear worm gear and worm gears which are illustrated uh, on the motions and power which is high ratio speed reductions is required they accommodate the wide range of the speed next we have the hypoid gear hypoid gears are look like very much like spherical vivel gear but un unlikely spiral uh, spiral vivel gear they are operated on the shop which has increase in the hypoid arrangement between the pinion and seat on different gears the shop are supposed to be the bearings in either the shop Next, we have the use of the hypoid uh, gear. Hypoid gear are often used for the output stage where the lower speed and the higher torques are required to the most common application for hypoid gearbox. It is in automotive industry where they are used rear axle and special for large trucks.